Oh, hey guys. Uh, I'm here in downtown Dayton on the river. I got something going on back behind me. I don't even really know what it is, but I like it. It's a good uh, place for me to uh, talk about the zip line since it came up in another video. I didn't really intend to hone in on it, but it's a starting place. Uh, you know, I'm 45 years old. I'm overweight. Uh, I'm single. I'm balding. I'm trying to live two different places. Um, you know, uh, I, sh I should be on a diet or at the gym or walking one of these trails trying to lose weight. Um, I lost 18 pounds this summer. I need to do that two, three more times and I'll be in good shape. I need to go home and go through my basement and box stuff up, get ready to move. But instead I'm here standing uh, in drizzle making a wig video. And whatever value there is to this, it, in my videos maybe they're not always the best use of my time uh, but i can feel productive or get some of my creative energy out of me and still not address the problems in my life that's kind of how i felt about the zip line i don't think it's a terrible idea by itself but in a city that's two million dollars <laughs> uh, below budget your know, tax revenues are two million uh less than uh, what's needed to run the government and uh, it's got lead water pipes, sinkholes all over the town. Maybe a zip line shouldn't be the number one priority. But if it is, uh, I wanna address some thinking here. You know, right back behind me, that riffle, get it? No, it's a joke, but that, those riffles in the summertime uh, are more of a, there's waves there. Uh, actually, a New York Times article I saw, I don't know, within the last year or two, saying that this is a center of surfing in the Midwest. Yes, if you live in the Midwest and you're looking to surf and don't want to go to the beach, this is one of the few places you can do it. They intentionally built this. I don't know what it costs. It's a draw. It's a tourist draw right in the center of downtown Dayton. But over across the levee there, they built a walking trail. There's a pavilion back behind me. There's walking trails here. In fact, there's five rivers that come together, four rivers come together uh, and make a fifth in Dayton. It, it creates a whole network of kayaking opportunities. Uh, there's parks all up and down the river, various rivers that create hiking opportunities, camping opportunities, fishing opportunities. They're networked together by a series of paths and uh, you know, the county, the city, uh, the various outlying communities all work together to make what they call Five Rivers Metro Park. But not only that, um, back over yonder they have a performing arts studio and over that way they've got a, a baseball field. They've got a fine art museum down that way on the other side of the river. They've worked to put more than one thing here to create, you know, synergies that, that, that they feed off each other. My concern is that the YMCA was intentionally placed on top of a hill 30 years ago because they didn't want the poor black and Italian kids using it. They made it intentionally difficult to get to. They took it out of downtown. And the county wants to build a series of, uh, of bike networks using the old rail trail or uh, rail lines in, 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 in uh, Harrison County. What did, what did our, our city do? They put flagpoles and a mound up, obstructing the uh, right of way right in the center of Clarksburg where uh, those things would need to connect. Um, we have a convention and visitors bureau. Um, and the head of the Robinson Grand isn't on it. We put 25 million into that. I wasn't in agreement with that project, but I believe that Ryan Tolley probably knows more about the tourism business than anybody in the city of Clarksburg as far as the nuts and bolts and how it works. He, he was, uh, I think, assistant manager of a casino in Florida. He has master's degrees in it. He knows how it works and he should be making or helping giving input into what our CVB does. We don't want him anywhere, or council doesn't want him anywhere near that because they don't like him. Um, and instead our CVB has a focusing on downtown. They had a concert at the AMP and then um, a par after party out at East Point. 
everything should be tied together. There should be a plan, a coordinated effort to tie everything together. This little bit here and a little bit there spread out all over the ends of the city is not gonna get it done. Uh, concentrate efforts in downtown. Everything uh, that's outlying needs to find a way to connect the downtown because the downtown's what everybody uses. It's in the center of it all. And if we can get it going, it makes the re revitalization of the rest of the town easier. I went long, but uh, I hope I got my point across. I'll holler at you later.